Welcome back to another episode of Alpine Garage. Something that we've always wondered is what is the reserve tank like on the Bronco? I don't, it's not listed anywhere, I haven't seen any information on it. So we thought we would, we've gotten down to a few miles, I think we've even gotten down to one mile left before empty, uh, but we've never taken it past zero. So today we're going to do that and we're going to continue to drive until we run out of gas. So we're going to see how long that reserve actually is. Now these Broncos have a computer and the computer is estimating the amount of gas it has by the amount of miles per gallon that you're getting likely. That's what's likely giving you your miles to empty kind of calculation. So another thing that we're going to do is once we get down to zero, we're going to reset that trip computer so that it is accurate from the standpoint of making sure it still says zero. Who knows, maybe it'll jump back up to two miles left uh, until empty if you reset that, if your miles per gallon is better than your average over the last tank. So we're gonna, we're gonna check this out. We're gonna, we're gonna report back to you today. Hopefully we don't damage the Bronco, but honestly, these cars should be made to uh, run out of gas. I mean, they shouldn't damage the motor. So we're going to figure that out for you today. So let's jump in the car. We've got a few miles to empty. We're just gonna run this thing out. So starting out this test, we are not at zero miles per gallon right now. We have so a little bit of gas in it. It's showing me around 10 miles to empty. And I've got 600 miles on the odometer, on the trip odometers, and it's calculating me at 17 miles per gallon right now. So I'm gonna reset the trip odometer and see if it changes the amount of fuel that I have available. Right now it's showing me at 10 miles till empty. If I reset it, is it gonna show me more or less? Is it gonna automatically update? I don't think it will. Let's check it out and see. All right, so as you can see about 600 miles on the trip odometer, 17, a little over 17 miles per gallon. Reset it and uh, no, it doesn't look like it's resetting it. So we still have, it still shows us the same miles to empty. All right, let's run this thing to zero and then we'll reset it again and see how long it takes us before we actually run out of gas. While we're doing this, let's have some fun. Put down how many miles you think we're gonna get on an empty tank down in the description. All right, now we are at zero miles to empty. We're going to reset the trip odometer and we're going to start the calculations. All right, so we've already got a few miles in. Uh, we've got two to three miles in right now and uh, we still have not run out of gas. I think in my head, I know the reserve on these cars. There's a little bit of reserve in there, so I would imagine that we'd get a few miles out of it. So this, this I kind of expected. Okay, we have hit 10 miles, 10 miles, 10 miles and still going strong. I would have expected probably 10 miles out of the reserve. So I think we're okay at this point. Now, how much further can we go? You drive around here long enough and you see, uh, you know, deer and bears and things like that. So next we'll see a bear before we run out of gas because we're already at 12 miles and we have not run out of gas yet. You know, when you're actually, uh, when you're actually doing these projects on a Sunday morning, you ask yourself, is there, do you not have a hobby? Is there not something that's more interesting than driving around waiting to run out of gas? I don't know that I've ever been in this situation before. Hey, baby. No, I'm driving around waiting to run out of gas. I'm at 14 miles now past zero. So as, and I, I, I can't keep driving in circles because people are gonna call the police. <laughs> I keep passing joggers. All right, I'm gonna continue to drive by. Honestly, at this point, folks, I thought that we would be out of gas by now. We are now 19 miles past zero miles and uh, we're trucking. Like the truck's not, it hasn't bogged down. It hasn't done anything out of the ordinary yet. So obviously at this point, you probably have at least a gallon of gas below zero. Uh, and uh, we're, but you know what? We're, we've invested this much time in this project. So we're just going to keep going. But down in the description, how many miles do you think it's going to be before I run out of gas? Woo, 
color of our springs, pretty, pretty. We are at 25.5 miles. That's pretty good. I mean, if you got yourself in a situation where you had to continue driving, 25 miles will get you somewhere. I can't tell if it's starting to give out or not. It, I think it's just my heightened sensitivity. It makes it feel like maybe it's giving out a little bit, but it, I'll give it a good pull here and see what happens. Well, still strong. Still strong, 25.5 miles after zero and it still, it still pulls. At 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour. I have now been driving on empty for 56 minutes and 36 seconds. All right, for those of you who put in the description anything under 26.5 miles, you lost. Anybody who put in more than 26.5 miles, you're still in the hunt. We're right at the one hour mark and 27.5 or 27.9 miles. And we're still not at empty yet. We're averaging 24.1 miles to gallon, which is pretty outstanding. So obviously if you're driving, you know, on the highway or something, you're probably gonna be getting half this uh, fuel mileage, but still it'll give you a good idea of kind of where we're at as far as fuel economy is concerned. An hour into this test and you start to contemplate your life decisions. Hopefully y'all are getting something out of this. We are at 33 miles now, 33 miles. An hour and 12 minutes into the drive. I'm gonna give it a good pull. No problem. I just did a pull up to about 50 miles an hour and uh, strong, 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 strong. It's a nice thing about living in Colorado. You don't have to go far to uh, wander a little bit. People out enjoying their Sunday here in Colorado. So I'm even testing this uh, like in a trail riding environment. Why not? I've got nothing better to do. So I straight off my original course and now I'm just kind of driving around like I'm never going to run out of gas. Thanks for keeping me company. We are now one hour and 30 minutes into the test and we just rolled over 40 miles past zero. Uh, here is the technical data. And I promised my family this morning that we were going to go to our favorite lunch spot uh, for lunch before the kids go back to school. And I'm getting phone calls about every 15 minutes now asking uh, if I'm going to participate in today's plan. So I am trying to run out of gas, guys. I am trying to run out of gas. But the Bronco will not let me. All right, here we go. We are running out of gas. We are running out of gas at a little over really run out yeah you can see it struggling there 0.7 it's running out of gas so we're gonna call it good there let's go put some fuel in and see if we can get this thing started back up again so we're gonna get the gas can off get some fuel in here you know, 40 miles isn't that, uh, isn't that bad. Let's get a couple of gallons past empty. Okay, so we put in what about was a gallon, and we'll see if we can get this thing started now. Let's put in some more gas. Let's not start with a gallon. All right, second test, one and three quarter gallons of fuel. And we fired. Wanted to see if I was gonna have any issues with uh, the fuel pump or anything after that. But so far, nothing, no issues. There you are, 41.6. I just put a gallon and three quarter in there and it's showing me seven miles, even though it wouldn't start with one gallon of gas in there. Uh, and I drove for an hour and 37 minutes before it finally conked out after zero. All right, so what did we learn? You can possibly get as much as 40 miles out of your tank after you hit that zero miles to empty. Now, that is going to be give or take depending on your situation. We weren't driving on the highway doing 75 miles an hour, uh, but honestly, if we got down to zero, we probably would reduce our speed anyway 
because obviously you're going to get better miles per gallon at a lower speed but in this case we just stayed at a steady 40 miles per hour so uh, that that took into account hills and uh, valleys which we do have here in Colorado but still 40 miles I was pretty surprised so on an average miles per gallon which is 15 to 17 miles per gallon you're talking as much as possibly three gallons past zero. Um, so that's actually pretty impressive. So the next time you get down to zero, I'm not telling you that you don't have to worry about it, but just know you've got a little bit left. That's a wrap from Alpine Garage. Hope you found this informative. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of other videos coming up and we're in the middle of restoring several old Broncos as well. So we will see you guys at Super Celebration West coming up. Have a great day.